Do I like this tripod? Yes. <laughs> do I want another tripod? No. I can't even do this. I'm so dyslexic. <laughs> Anyway, I'm Justin Mott and welcome to my home in Hanoi, Vietnam. And today I'm gonna to be talking about this little guy here. Why are you talking about a very old tripod? This thing's like six years old. Well, I'm gonna tell you why. And why are you talking even about a tripod in general? You're not a tripod guy. Well, I'm gonna tell you why. This is the Manfrotto B Free three way live, three way? With a lightweight fluid video head. So if you're interested in why I'm talking about an old tripod and I'm not a tripod guy, well, you're just gonna to have to stay tuned. <music> As always guys, don't forget to check out my online store at justinmott.com where I've got presets like this one that will not make you a better photographer, but they will add some pop to your images. I've also got a variety of one-on-one -on -one classes for you to choose from. They are for anyone out there that is interested in improving their photography skills, amateur pro, and for all genres. And for those of you out there looking for some art for your walls or a gift for a friend or a loved one, you can check out my print shop, again, at justinmott.com, where I've got prints with free shipping starting as low as $99. All right, I'm always on the lookout for new gear, and recently I'm on the lookout for gear that I can use in hybrid situations. What do I mean by a hybrid situation? I mean video and stills at the same time. It seems to be where the industry is going, at least it's where I'm going with my work, especially my personal work, especially my documentary work, my Kindred Guardians work, where I'm shooting a lot of stills and documentary video as well, sometimes at the same time, sometimes on the same trip, or sometimes separately. So I'm always looking for as much versatile gear as I can take with me just to keep things lightweight because I want to travel lightweight. So I'm looking for cameras that can do both well, bags that can do well, and tripods that can do video and stills as well. And since I'm also doing a lot more online content, Instagram, YouTube, YouTube stories and things like that, I'm filming myself a lot more often. So that's where I came across this little guy here. I reached out to my friends over at Manfrotto. I was just using their, they gave me like some cool stuff to test. I should make a note of that. They did give me this tripod for free. They did give me this other device here for free. Um, so I just wanna put that out there, but they didn't pay me and they have no say in this review at all. But just while, I'm, before I get into this, this was a cool little device I took out with me when I was in central Kenya filming The Last Two Northern White Rhinos, a documentary that hopefully will be out soon. Um, but this little device here is a really cool thing. This is called the Jim Boom here, and this attaches to the end of a gimbal system. And this thing is just like a long boom stick. You can attach your gimbal to it just to get you like really unique angles, and especially came in handy when I was filming rhinos, because sometimes you don't want to get close to rhinos. Well, often you don't want to get close to rhinos. I don't suggest it. But to get those shots that I couldn't normally get, I could reach out, go really high, get really low, and also get close to things that I don't normally want to get close to. And it's it's also carbon fiber. It's very, very lightweight. You, you could also kind of use it as a monopod as well. Anyway, this is a really cool thing. I'll put a link to the description box below, but today I'm here to talk about this little guy here. This is an aluminum tripod, not something I normally have. I'm usually a carbon fiber guy, but you know, I wanted to check out one of their affordable tripods. This thing has been around for a long time. Their Briefy Live system has been around for a long time. Manfrotto makes exceptional tripods. They're starting to also make a lot of other gear, like I said, gimbals and gimbal accessories as well. But I asked for this because I was looking through their website and I was looking for a gear that could double up. I wanted something with a fluid tripod head, but I didn't want to take a very heavy tripod with me. I just don't like carrying that kind of stuff. I'm normally working alone, so I'm like a one-man crew. So, you know, I've got my stills gear, I've got my video gear, and if I do take a tripod, I want something that I could shoot stills or do a time lapse with or shoot video and especially having a fluid video tripod head really does come in handy so you're not just taking static boring shots. So a little bit of basic information about this. I'm gonna read it from here because I don't have a fantastic memory. This tripod is old. It has been around for a while. You might say like, why don't you review the Peak Design tripod? That's what everyone's talking about. That's new, that's got new technology. Well, I mean new technology. Tripods haven't changed a lot through time. It's not like technical stuff. There's not like all these different updates, tripod legs or tripod legs. Sure, some little things have changed throughout the year, but they're not making like massive changes every year. And for those of you interested in the Peak Design tripod, that's actually why I asked about this tripod. I bought the Peak Design carbon tripod and I took it on that shoot in Kenya and it was just too lightweight and it has like little other fancy little gimmicks in it. And to be honest though, I used it, I used it for two weeks. I didn't like it, it was too lightweight. When I put my video camera on, any little gust of wind made it shake so that was just useless for video. Even for time lapses, it wasn't steady enough for me so so I, I just didn't like it. So when I got back from that trip, I sold it. And actually that's when I looked for this. And I also just didn't like that it didn't have a fluid video head on it because I wanted to do some little pants, some little tilts and things like that. And it just didn't have it. So I know they're not billing it as a video tripod, so it's not a fair comparison, but it was just too lightweight for me. Again, that carbon fiber tripod, expensive, a lot more expensive than this, but 
anyway, it just didn't work out, but that's why I actually got this tripod because I was disappointed in the Peak Design tripod. So there you go. Old six-year-old tripod compared to like the new, hot, sexy one. Sometimes the old thing is the way to go. Old, steady, reliable, she's the one. So a couple of basic features about this tripod. They make a carbon fiber one as well. You could actually, they make different versions of it. You could get a ball head tripod if you're not interested in the fluid head, but I've got the fluid head one here today and that's what we're talking about. This system here, not, not this particular one, the carbon fiber one actually is the lightest one, but this series here is the lightest video tripod that Manfrotto makes. So the aluminum one right here, or if you're British, the aluminum one, I always like the way they say it, but. I'm American, I can't pull it off. So this one here, the aluminum one, comes in at 3.8 pounds or 1.75 kilograms. The carbon fiber one comes in at a flat three pounds or 1.38 kilograms. Carbon fiber one is 415 US dollars and the aluminum one is $300. And this also comes with, I mean, this is not something I like to talk about, but I should, it's not that sexy. It comes with this little case here, nothing wrong with the case, I just don't like typically like cases, but it packs up nicely. Tripods get dirty, so you don't want that dirt to get in your other gear, so. Yeah, it's nice that it actually does come with a case. It's a nice little fine case. A little bit of padding here, good enough. Um, you know, a little shoulder strap, things like that. But I don't get excited about tripod cases. I don't really even get that excited about tripods that much. But this was worth a mention because I've been using it and I like it. So this is built as a compact, lightweight travel tripod and that's exactly what it is. You know, it's just, it's not that big. It folds up really, really nicely. It's got these nice little extensions here. Some tripods can like go out like this and they don't have like that little kick out here. These can all be extended in different directions. Sometimes you find yourself in weird corners or you're just like these different elevations and things like that. There's different levels. So it just comes in handy that this thing can spread out, you know, get really, really flat on you. It's just these little handles you click here on the side, side here, just so you can like. Um, so it's got the nice little pan. It's got the nice little tilt. All these things are adjustable. This little bit here, this hard rubber here, some, you know, most of the head here, the fluid system is plastic. I don't love that, but for $300, I don't mind it at all either. Um, it's also got the extension head here, so you can pull it up, pull it higher. That's nice. Once you make your adjustments, if you want to make some little macro adjustments, you can do so right here. So it's got the fluid head, it's got the pan, it's got the tilt option. Very functional, real, works really well, really steady for video work, really smooth for video work as well. Also, you can just use it as a still tripod as well, or if you want to film yourself. I could see using this mainly for my documentary work, so yeah, video work if I want to add some movement to my shots, still work if I'm doing time lapses or I just want to set a camera up, or if I'm filming myself and doing some talking to camera kind of stuff. This can do it all. Rather than having two tripods, I could do everything with this guy right here. Some other little technical stuff here. So it's got aluminum legs with three angle positions, which I showed you. It's got lever leg locks and twist option available. So I've got the lock option. Some people like the twist lock option. So whatever your preference there is. I don't typically like the twist options. I mean, I like the idea of it aesthetically. I like the way it looks, but the twist options I have on another tripod, I, I just, I don't know. I, always, I, I never trust it. And, and that's the thing. I, I'm all about trust. Once I trust you, then I could take you out with me. And I just don't trust twist, I trust lock. And this has got the lock. But you've got the twist option, if that's your thing. Supports up to 8.8 .8 pounds, so that should cover you for most cameras, unless you've got like a ridiculously gigantic rig. And if you've got that, you just want a different tripod. You want like a larger, dedicated video tripod for that kind of stuff. But most of my kit, most of the stuff that I use when I'm traveling, my run and gun documentary kit, my Sony FX3 sort of rigged out a little bit. It's not gonna weigh 8.8 .8 pounds, so this covers me there. The height range, which is important to a lot of people, see how high it can go, goes from 16 inches all the way up to 59.5 inches. It includes a 501 PL quick release plate, which goes right here. Pretty, pretty standard plate here, just locks in with this little twisty thing on the side here. It's got that built-in level viewable from two different angles, so if you're aiming this way, you're looking that way, you can see the level from both sides. It's got a removable pan bar, like I said, it's got pan and tilt options with that fluid head. It's got another little cool feature here, something that some people overlook, but you know, it's important to have. It's got this little side hook here, so if you wanted to hang a sandbag on it, you could just to weigh it down, but again, it's really, really sturdy, but you never know. Or if you just wanna hang like your hat or some accessories or coil a wire around it, I mean, it comes in handy, these little things. It's also got this little screw here on the side with a removable cap, but that screw, you could attach a magic arm, attach accessory. If you wanted to put a microphone on it or something like that, you could attach that there. If you wanted to attach a field monitor, again, with a little magic arm there, you could do that right there. It's got that screw. It's got that little screw and that little hook. Nice little additions there, all in the little details. The total weight of the tripod for the aluminum version comes in at four pounds. Feels robust in your hand, doesn't feel too heavy. Again, you can unscrew this to pack it up nice and small. 
So overall, who is this tripod for? Well, I never like to say who it's for because we're all so different. I can just tell you how I've been using it. I can tell you how I foresee using it in the future. Um, I'm gonna use it as my do-it-all tripod. Whenever I go on a trip, so a trip like Kenya where I was there, I was shooting stills, I was shooting video, shooting content about myself, shooting social content for YouTube, for Instagram, for things like that where I'm looking and talking directly to camera. This would have come in handy. Again, I tried that Peak Design one out. It just didn't work the way I wanted it to. Sometimes just plain and simple. Not just plain and simple, but you know, again, this tripod's been around for a long time, many, many years. It's an old tripod. Look online, look at the reviews. I see reviews six years ago. So, you know, but it works and it works really well and it does its job really well. So I'm going to use it that way. I'm gonna use it to film some B-roll for my video documentary work. Whenever I wanna add a little movement, the pan and tilt options are nice. I'm gonna use it for time lapses. I'm gonna use it to film myself and occasionally I'm gonna use it when I need a tripod for a stills camera, which is something I don't often do, but just in case I've got it all in one. For you guys out there, you can make your own decisions on how you'd like to use it, but I really see it being very useful for the hybrid shooter out there or the shooter that's doing a whole bunch of different things, not just video and stills, but also content. Like again, I could use this as an extra tripod in my home studio here. It doesn't take up a lot of real estate. It's not gonna take up like my whole home studio. So if I wanna, try, if you want a tripod for your home studio, something you can also take with you on the road, this is a perfect tripod for that. I'm not gonna say it's like gonna compete with the big, giant, dedicated video tripods, but it's gonna do a good job doing video, doing stills, doing a bit of everything. So the cons about this tripod, the only thing I'll say is, Again, it's only 300 bucks, so I'm not gonna really complain about that, but just the little plastic bits, I don't love those so much. A lot of it is aluminum, but there's also little plastic bits. I don't like plastic, but you know, part of the deal, what are you gonna do? Uh, I think in the end, maybe for you guys out there, if you have a little bit more of a budget, maybe splurge for the carbon fiber, but again, the aluminum one is very sturdy, so if you're gonna be doing more video, you might, you might wanna gravitate towards the aluminum one, and if you're gonna get the fluid head tripod, you probably wanna do video, so I think the aluminum one was a good choice for me. Not a ton of bells and whistles, not like the Peak Design, with those little gimmicky things, but it just does what it's meant to do very, very well. It's a very versatile tripod. Again, the only downside is a couple of the little plastic bits, which I don't love, but I don't mind it value-wise for that $300. But a very affordable $300, I think it fits right into that budget range for all of you out there that want, for people out there that want a tripod, it's gonna be versatile and it's gonna last you for, throughout your entire career. Again, tripods aren't something like other equipment that you're upgrading. If you're buying a tripod, hopefully you'll get a good 10 years out of it. So it's worth the investment, I think. Um, so yeah, awesome tripod. I really like, I really like what Manfrotto's doing. Check out their other stuff, their gimbal system. Again, this little Jim Boom thing. I really, really enjoyed using that. Love this tripod. I'm gonna take it with me on my next trip. So maybe I'll do some field reporting with this and show you guys what it's like to use out in the field. So thank you Manfrotto for sending me over this tripod. Thank you for guiding me because they were really helpful. I said like, I want a tripod that does this, this, and this. I wasn't really sure where to go and there wasn't a ton of options out there. Not just from them, but from anyone. But they had this fantastic option. It fit exactly what I was looking for and it's done the job perfectly on how I wanted to use it in all different categories. Not like it was just okay at some of them. They were good at all the categories I wanted to be good at. This has come through for me. It's a great tripod for the money. It's a great tripod just in general. Manfrotto speaks for themselves. They have a great reputation. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. I will put a link to this exact tripod in the description box below. I'll put a link to the Jim Boom there as well. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And and don't forget to have a wonderful day.